Hey guys, Lightning Spirit 78 here. Welcome back to more of Let's Play Twilight Princess in the City in the Sky with Tinker Two Legs. Yippers! And in the last episode, we failed. We got little to no progress done. Yes, but at least it's almost. But at time least we got the dungeon map. Exactly, and at least it's got us time for a mini boss. All right, let's get some hearts. Mini boss. I, I actually Hence do like this mini boss. I was gonna say, there's a nice and easy way that you can finish him off in like two turns tops, I think. But I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off. The mini boss? Yeah, because this mini boss, it's a recurring uh, enemy. And once it becomes a recurring enemy, it has a lot less health. And you can take him out in one turn once he has a lot less health. But since this is the actual first one, it always has more health than the others, so. Yep. Yep, mini boss time. Right. Is he I'm trying to think what mini boss this is. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's actually a mini boss revolving the claw shot for once. Yeah, I remember this guy. This guy's obnoxious, but he's kind of cool at the same time and really, really creepy. He's a looking. giant flying dragon with a sword. Exactly, and the way those bones are around his neck, it actually looks like a the Kingdom Hearts crown upside down. Just like the way oh he has God. a. Kingdom Hearts references in like the past few episodes. I know, it's like, what the heck? It's because we're excited for birth by sleep. Exactly, which is an amazing thing. I've what? never played it because I don't have a PSP. No, oh, it's okay. Get no! Ah! Crap. <laughs> that was a fail on my part. Yeah, when he's on the ground, don't claw shot to him. Yep, all you gotta do is claw shot a shield and attack him for some Yep. Pretty simple. And like I said, this guy has way more health than he does later on. So, of course, he's going to be an annoying little jerk. And go into a second phase. God, second phase, he's gonna be flying now. Yes, he's flying around. Oh, jeez, here he comes. You have to kind of guess where he's gonna be. Oh, jeez, I missed. Frustrating thing is, I had him, and I didn't react soon enough. Oh, he's coming out the same door. Oh, come here. Dog. Helm splitter. And. Oh, I missed. Uh, of course. Alright, where's he coming? Does the fairy in this game serve any purpose at all? Like the fairy on the screen? Uh, no. She's just there as your pointer, more or less. Which uh, I don't know why they have a pointer off screen. Yeah, I know. Like off of the, um item screen. It's kind of pointless, but whatever. They just had to put Navi in to annoy everybody. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, with that, we are oh about God, to get... Chest. We are about to get the coolest item in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, this item is pretty awesome. I was gonna say, it may be a little unoriginal, but in a way, it's totally awesome. And I saw a pot... Well, it's the I first wanted. time they've used it in a Zelda game, I think. Yeah. Like, two of the same thing. Yeah. Alright, come here. Spoilers! Yeah, but what two of the same thing could it be? Could it be more iron boots? Could it be another Gale Boomerang? Could it be two arrow or bow and arrows? <laughs> you got the double claw shots! Yes, we now have two of these bad boys. So we can latch onto more targets than one, and this is actually quite a creative item. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome item. Alright. Let's get on with this show and okay, claw shot. And he's just hanging there, and then he can shoot something else. It's really I know it's it amazes me how he can do it. Oh crap! I missed. Of course, the first time using the double claw shot, and I missed. All right, is there vines here? Yep. And now you're gonna be seeing a lot of claw shot puzzles. Exactly, the which are unique and obnoxious at the same exact time. Yep. More or less, from this point on, once you see a claw shot target, look for another one. Because it's mainly the whole point of the dungeon. And it's just getting from one point to another using only the claw shots, more or less. Right? Yep, this whole room just revolves around using the claw shots to get to the top of the room. Exactly. Like, right here, for instance. Okay, come on, there's gotta be another one up there. I mean, I know there's plenty of them, but I'm trying of to find them. Of course, there's like keys in this room, too. Just exactly. to mess you up. Yeah, just to mess things up. Always gotta put the keys. What's this door right here? Yeah. 
I don't like how he rolls automatically. That kind of annoys me in a way. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Alright, we gotta work our way up to the beehive. There's something not above me. There's gotta yeah, be. We're stuck. Already? But I just got the claw shots. <laughs> <laughs> Can you grab onto the... We oh. try getting closer. Yep. Yeah. I saw a little... Oh, I think you can. Yep. Try it. Yeah, there we go. Yes! We did it! Woo! I don't know if we're going any higher, but we're getting somewhere at least. Ah, perfect. Now I know for a fact we're getting higher. Put on the beehive, put on your... Oh, we don't have to put on our iron boots this time. Okay, now this is quite creative right here. Get down to the level of the door, and... Launch out your way before the beehive goes back up and closes the door. Oh yeah, that is pretty creative. And it looks like we're trying to do Real-time events for the win. Yes. And, okay, more hearts I can use. I can always use hearts. Oh, the, I love these things. Because you can just, by pressing the Z button on the uh, nunchuck, you can just go from one to another without, like, stopping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this comes in handy really later on in the game. Well, exactly. not really later on, but later on in this temple, I could say. Exactly. That's why I love riding on this thing. Okay, I don't think we needed a, I don't think we had to get a piece of heart yet. I know that there's, like, one after another kind of thing. Like, once yeah. you get one, the I other one one's shortly one's. after. Up oh, there's the compass. the compass! I was waiting for that little bad boy. Alright. And now that we have the double claw shot, I think we head back to the, um... Oh, no, we don't head back to the main room. We head back to here. Oh, I remember this now. Oh, yeah, I saw the Deku Babas are just hanging on the Yeah, I know. Here, well, let's take care of them right ceiling. now. This makes perfect sense. Yeah, I know. The wind should blow them away. It should. Okay, got that but one. But Nintendo never really makes sense. So. Got them. We're just not going to question it. Exactly. Never question the logic of Nintendo because they don't like their logic questioned. <laughs> yep. Which I guess in a way is what makes the games epic. Alright, come here. Go. And on to the vine. Okay. And now we have really, really slow climbing. <laughs> Which is kind of... Yeah, his his climbing in this game is really slow compared to the other games. Yeah, I know. Like, it's been slow in almost all the games, but this one seems to be particularly slow. It, like he, It's like yeah. he pauses after, like, yeah, moving up Yeah, it's like the movement level. he makes and then the noise when he's climbing up, it just... Yeah, it's just kind of weird. Okay, get across, get across. Now we can finally do this. We're back to the room we were in the beginning. Oh wait, or can we? Okay, that's great. You can't double claw shot when you have when you're on a vine. That's just wonderful. Alright, oh that's all that mattered. Alright, let's get over there. I believe we're over halfway done with this temple already. At least I hope so. <laughs> Not that I want yeah, to. Yeah, hopefully. I was going to say, not that I want the co-commentating experience to be over with, but the temple is kind of obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like this temple. Alright, where is it? Oh, that's a pea hat. I have no use for you yet. Oh god, the pea hats. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. No, the iron boots! Put the iron boots! That was close. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta make our way with the pea hats. I remember this. Did you fall? Oh. Where it was lagging for a minute, I thought. No, no, thankfully I didn't fall yet. So I'm not gonna deny that I probably won't in this area. Oh crap, the birds! The birds! The birds will make your life a living heck if you don't get away from them fast enough. Because I've had those birds knock me down so many dang times. It's not even funny. All the flying, all the flying enemies do that to you. Oh yeah. In any game. Exactly. Not just, not just Zelda, but in all games. Okay, um, huh. Let's see, let's jump that. Wait, were we in this room before? Oh, yeah, we so. were, but... I think there's, like, two rooms that are like this. Directly, 
Were we in this room? I don't even remember. Yeah, we were, but now we're on the lower level. Oh. Uh. Because yep. I remember Harpies being, like, in a room like this. Yeah, uh, I know exactly where that one is. I oh, just have to okay. find it. I also gotta wonder where the second post... Where are the post cells in this... Dungeon? I've never gotten all the post cells. Yeah, I was gonna say, if I don't get the two... I know where one of them is, but I can't remember... Oh, wait, no, I, I know heard, where they both are. From what I've heard, it's not really that great of a reward, though. It really isn't, but I'm gonna... Get all the puzzles after the LP. Oh, like probably, like probably episode. after the next few LPs, actually, because I gotta get the will to play the game again and go after all of the puzzles. Yeah. But I'm just getting all of them in the dungeon, so I don't have to go back to any particular dungeon. But now I, I just got a brain like storm, and now I remember where they are. Ah, uh, did I go too low? Nope. No. Thank you, Bobas. again. They are always here to ruin the party. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. Maybe I should use the arrow to take that one out. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Probably. Are we all the way back up where I think we are? Yes, we are. Great. <laughs> Crap. Stupid Deku Baba. I blame it. Alright, yeah. Uh, definitely blame easier. Blame the character, not the player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely use your uh, arrows on that one. That one's obnoxious. You can use your claw shot on the first one because there's no target underneath it. But I think over in that other room there was like a pointless rupee prize, so I'm gonna ignore it. I love how they put the rupees in like the trigger chest that look like it's gonna contain a heart piece, and then you open it, and it's like, oh, 50 rupees. I didn't want that. I know it's like, oh, 50 rupees. Okay, arrow time. They should. Just like change the treasure chest so you know which is which. Exactly, like sometimes it like you know, particular chests for particular things. Mm -hmm. Like rupees and Actually they should have kept all the rupees in this little tiny like I believe Dark Bull ninety nine called them waffle chests. <laughs> oh the little brown? Yeah, the little chests. ones that look like kinda like a ice cream cone kind of thing. Oh yeah, I know you're talking about. Right. Uh, okay, there we go. Or yeah. double claw shot. Platforming. I was gonna say, now I'm really remembering this place. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, way to fail. As soon as you say that, then you forget. <laughs> yeah. I knew there had to be one somewhere, I just didn't know where. Actually, wait, let me go back in that other room. I thought there was something that we needed in there. Yeah, there's two treasure chests in there. Yeah, that's what I thought. If it's a... Let me see what I can see. Is that a pointless rupee chest? No! Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, dang it. Yeah, it was a pointless rupee chest, too. The snake had to mess you up. Oh, geez, they respawn. Okay, arrow. Arrow. This would probably help if I cut away, but I am not going to, so. <laughs> Just because then I would have absolutely no time what, like, where. Like, I wouldn't know exactly what time we were at. So, yeah. Right. yeah, that's the one thing about recording that I hate doing is like cutting away and I have no idea what time we're at. I always take out my phone and use the stopwatch on it so I know, like if I'm cutting anything out. Ah, I see. That's actually a clever idea. I was gonna say I wish I knew how to use my phone's stopwatch. But so yeah, I, I just don't. used it so I could uh know what time I'm at in the Paper Mario uh, battles, like when I'm cutting them out. Oh, jeez, this is a major blast from the past. It's, it's, the, a giant thing. it's the first mini boss from the Forest Temple. Wow. Why is there so many, like, references from the Forest Temple? Yeah, I know, it's like Forest Temple Point 2. With a little bit of Water Temple in it. Yeah. Because it's confusing. Alright, now we need our bombs to blow things up. What are the pointless bombs called again? Uh, the pointless bombs, I believe they're bomb juice. Oh, jeez. I was gonna say, oh, that I activated juice. a bomb in a cinematic. I was kind of hoping it was going to explode on me in the cinematic and I wouldn't take any damage. So that would have been quite funny. That thing out of play. Okay, Link's looking upwards, so I guess that means we gotta go up. 
Yep, this is the room with the heart piece. Oh, yep, I remember this place. Okay, except where are we? This one takes forever. Oh, yeah. So you want to be sure to not forget the heart piece, because I remember forgetting the heart piece once, and I it just was not fun. And we're sinking, and I don't know what to do. Oh, fine. We're at like 15 minutes now. Oh, shoot. 15.20. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.